didn't even finish my morning coffee and we get our first official look at the Batmobile. Not that I'm complaining or anything. Hello friends and welcome back to the Brock Upside and this morning Matt Reeves gave us our first official look at the Batmobile for, well, of course, the Batman. So Matt Reeves released three images of the new Batmobile from three different angles and also features Robert Pattinson as Batman in the suit, complete with the cape and everything as well, but we're not here to talk about the suit, we're here to talk about the Batmobile and from what we can see right here, it looks like it matches up to some of the rumors that it was going to be like a upgraded muscle car of sorts and these images definitely confirm those descriptions because it kind of looks like a 70s like muscle GT car. I'm not really savvy with car terms so I apologize if I'm getting this all wrong here but it does look like it takes inspiration from Adam West's Batmobile which was kind of teased by Matt Reeves a couple times as you get to here the front where it kind of curves around the wheels and then the very back you got these like kind of curved almost a bat fin type things which are usually on every bat mobile and then if we come to this image here in the back you can see the engine and it also does have an afterburner which is really really cool I can't wait to see that thing fire up because one of my favorite parts of like every Batmobile is seeing that afterburner as it takes off out of the Batcave and stuff it's got some really cool red LED lights and this Batmobile here looks like it's continuing the trend of it having some very subtle bat looking elements to it but not being like in your face boom this is the Batmobile kind of like Ben Affleck's Batmobile where you know, it's got like the pointed fins in the back, it's some very subtle detail looking like, you know, bat wings and things like that. And just judging by these images here, it doesn't look like the top piece is gonna like slide open so Batman can jump in. It looks like he's probably gonna be using like regular car doors, much like the Adam West Batmobile, which is still really cool and does make sense if he just bought this muscle car and then just upgraded it, added some cool tech and things to it as well. So, and that's just something I'm really liking overall about Matt Reeves' direction with the Batman so far is that it's very different from what we've gotten before but it's still very much got that Batman feel to it. You know this Batmobile looks very custom made not like it was made by Lucius Fox or Harold the Batmobile mechanic from the comic books you know it just looks like something that Bruce Wayne has been building himself in the Batcave along with the bat suit. We'll just take a really quick look at Robert Pattinson's Batman in these images and so far Still, the bat suit looks really, really good. It definitely looks a lot better than some of those set images we got a week or two ago, which was basically confirming my suspicions that the suit will look really good once properly lit and photographed, because right here, the suit looks really good. The ears look absolutely fine, as opposed to some of those set images. So, everything here looks really good. The bat suit and the Batmobile go together very, very nicely. And overall, this is a really great looking Batmobile. I am super pumped to see this thing in action, you know, chasing down criminals in Gotham City streets in the middle of the night and things like that. Really digging this Batmobile. I am super pumped for the Batman coming out in 2021. And I want to hear your guys' thoughts on this as well. Do you love it? Do you hate it? And also, what's your favorite live action Batmobile so far? Me personally, I know a lot of people aren't going to agree with me on this, but it's going to be the Tumblr from the Dark Knight trilogy, mostly because I like the really big, bulky tank look to it, and also, you know, it's got some sentimental value in there for me. But, anyway, just to wrap things up. So, those are my new thoughts on the brand new Batmobile, and if you guys haven't already, make sure hit that subscribe button if you live talking by movies. But, anyway, tell me your thoughts about the new Batmobile down below, and we'll see you on the break of and now to finish this damn coffee.